Deborah. Today is, I don't know, July 11, maybe? Um, Sunday. And I just wanted to share a little thought that came to me um, one day when I was uh, during the sacrament, part of uh, Sunday services. And um, I had been studying in the New Testament or saw a video <clears throat> of uh, this, the scene was when Christ had said something, it was sort of towards the end of his ministry, and he'd said something about um, how his followers would have to eat his flesh and blood or something like that. And, and when he explained this to people or m said this, a lot of people were like horrified by that thought, kind of like, what, cannibalism? And they, they turned from him. And, and, um, and I thought, well, it is, a, it is kind of gruesome to think about, and it's the symbol of, of our covenant with him and to eat his flesh and blood and it is kind of gruesome. And I thought, why do we have to eat your body and drink your blood? And the simple thought came to me, you are what you eat. I'm just gonna leave that with you to think about. And right now we are partaking of the sacrament and they, the bread is in a little cup and the water's in a little cup and and we're supposed to keep the cups instead of putting them back in the tray and so i i have these little cups and i i bring them home and i was thinking if i eat one little piece of bread a week and go to there's usually about 48 weeks that we attend sacrament meeting and partake of the sacrament in a year. And I've, this month, I will have been in the church for 46 years. And if you add that up, that's, that's a lot of bread. And consistently, just like they say, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. And, um, if we partake of the sacrament and eat one bite, by the end of our life, attending church every week, and partaking of the sacrament, yeah, we will become Christ. We will certainly become more Christ-like. And that worked for me. I hope uh, it gives you some food for thought. Happy Sabbath. Bye.